Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. So today I'm gonna to show you how do you see make um, and, and basically what it is and how to use it for whatever um, platform you're on versus like whatever operating system, if it's Windows, Mac, or Linux. Okay, so what is CMAC, CMake? It, it's basically a build system that you can use for C++. So if you come under here under the download, um, what you'll find here is you've got all the different um, binary executable files that you can run. Uh, as it says here, Linux, Windows, and then Mac. Obviously I'm on a Mac, so that's what I'll be focusing on. So uh, just let me get into a terminal here. So what I've got here is I've got um, basically a project that I downloaded from GitHub. So the one that I'm using is this uh, one called Redox, which is a uh, Redis client. And you just do a git clone of that repository, of whatever, whatever it might be. Um, now, what you've got here is you've got um, the CMake list text file, so I'm going to show you that if you'd like. I'm not going to go into how it works, but there's lots of tutorials out there. Usually you don't have to really work with this. Uh, this is kind of like a master, be just before the make, make file that you work with. So uh, this manages all your paths for your include files, which are your header files, your libraries, and all your object files. Because building in C++ is so much fun. So we've got that CMake list file. And basically, what you can do here is um, you have uh, here, you've got, as you can see here, an include directory. Obviously, that's going to be all your uh, include header files. You'll also have, um, let's see what's in the CMake file folder. So that's where um, maybe you have some artifacts for your, your um, for your CMake, uh, you also will and can use uh, a folder called build. So what it does, it will take all your source files. So if we go into the source folder here, you'll see here we have all the, um, obviously the source files, CPP source files, or C++. Um, and what you can do is you can segregate these and all the object files, libraries, all that gets thrown into a build directory. So I'm going to show you that in a little bit, but what I want to show you before that is in my case, I'm going to use Xcode as my preferred IDE. Um, I've been using CodeLite with very little issues. Uh, pretty, pretty happy about that. And I'll also show you a solution you could use for Visual Studio. I don't know if it'll work, but I'll just give you some tips on that. And if you're using um, Linux, you may and be able to use um, uh, let me just get rid of this. All right, so um, yeah, again, you could use Eclipse CDT, but um, I'm going to show you why I don't use it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into this newly created Xcode directory. So it's empty, but I'm going to show you what the results are. So once you create this directory, you now are able to create what is uh, built. Um, and create all your project files so that you can load them up in your IDE. Okay, so I'm going to show you the magical steps that make that happen. There's two ways to go about it. I'm going to show you what you can do on the command line. So here uh, under this johnlamp.net, what he shows you is how to take, take your CMake and then create your project files for your preferred IDE. If it's Visual Studio, um, if you're going to use, as I said, my case, uh, Xcode, and then of course at the bottom here, Eclipse. There's other IDEs out there that you could use called uh, Codeblocks, Codelite, another one called KDevelop, there's a bunch of them. But as I said, I've used Codelite with no problems up until now, uh, and that's that. So I'll put these resources in my, um, in my blog. But what you got to do here is, uh, as you can see, you create your Xcode directory, in my case, for my IDE. You CD into it, and then you just basically CMake uh, what you just see there. Um, so let me just 
make sure I go into uh, the newly created Xcode. Okay, so there we go. It's empty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that command here. Oh, um, paste. Yep. Yeah. Off she goes. So off she goes. And of course, it's got all the necessary C compiler, um, C++ compiler, the link. There, all that has to be in there, obviously, before this can work. So let me just quit out of my IDE here, of course, um, of uh, Xcode. So if I do an LS, you'll see I've got all the necessary um, project files. But here is where it's interesting, because now I have my Xcode project file, like a solution file for Visual Studio. Now if I navigate to that um, project, so if I go to this one, CPP, I don't know exactly where it is. You've been doing this day in, day out. So that's the original one, but here's the new one, Xcode, okay? So this is what was just created for this project. So now if I just open it with um, my Xcode, watch what happens. So it's now loading up my Xcode. And just so everybody knows, it's a beast of a, a program about 10 gig, I think. It's just, it's massive. So beach ball spinning um, should load up. In the meantime, let me load up my uh, CMake. So I've got my CMake that you can download here. I'll show you the other way through the GUI. Uh, all right. So in the meantime, um, oh, looks like my Xcode just crashed. Yeah. Let me just load up my Xcode and load it from within there. Okay. So. There's my Xcode, gonna do an open. Uh, my case, I'm going to navigate to Xcode. No, we want the CPP. Yeah, so we got Redis test. No, Redis CPP, Redux, Xcode, we want this one, and we're gonna open it this way. So there you go, that is the um, code, um, all that ready to go, um, voila, okay, and you got to define all your libraries and stuff, uh, um, that's part of, it's part of defining your CMake, but overall, that is how you can, can convert your CMake project files into your IDE. So now I'm going to show you through the GUI of um, CMake, again, let me just show you, you can download it um, from here. This is what I'm referring to, this download, this, this is the Mac version. So what we're going to do is I'm going to browse for the source file. In my case, I'm going to go to users, myself, uh, oh, uh, myself, document, CPP, Redis, CPP, Redux. So um, you know what, I'm going to back that up just in case something gets messed up. Uh, okay, so we got Redux, so I'm going to, I'm going to cop, duplicate this. Okay, so, okay, so let me just do that again, but just go to the, um, copy version. I don't like messing stuff up, it takes me a while to, ah, okay, so we want, um, Redis CPP, Redux copy. So we're going to do open. Okay, so you can see here, I, I talked earlier about the build folder. So that is automatic. Okay. Now, this is where it gets very interesting. I'm going to configure. Now, here's where the IDEs take place. Now, each IDE is going to be different. You have Xcode. Now, I think these are listed in, in popularity. Code blocks, uh, that IDE does not exist. I mean, it exists for Mac, but uh, the, 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 the development has stopped due to lack of Mac developers. As I said, I've used the uh, code light, no problem. Eclipse is weird because it will say, yeah, we can do it, but it's not properly supported. 
um, and then key develop uh, all these other ones um, really if you're a Mac guy Xcode and again you may have different options for Visual Studio if you're on Windows but all these other ones are popular um, Linux IDEs so if I pick off Xcode I'm just going to use the default native compilers now hopefully this will work um, so it's creating all that fun stuff done now this is where it gets wonky uh, done I'm not sure what that means uh, if I do a generate let's see if it press configure to generate Xcode configuration done and just see what it created if it works or not okay so uh, no build got created okay so you know what I'm not gonna mess around with this because this this can work maybe but uh, if you do need help there is this video here to help you with that specifically for Xcode and I'm sure there's other tutorials out there on YouTube um, uh, so for this tutorial or CMake and Xcode he walks you through this this program right here to Xcode so hopefully that will help you out um, if you do get any of my projects built with Xcode yeah they are for Xcode but you should be able to generate um, from the CMake files your own set of project files for your IDE of choice even down to your operating system so that should work okay hopefully I'll help you out